I'm using the St. Louis Cardinals team building rank seasons today. Our starting pitcher today is going to be Adam Wainwright. I've actually been great with him this year. In the rotation, we also have 99 Bob Gibson, this 99 retro finest Lance Lynn, 98 player of the month Jose Quintana, and then this throwback finest from the show 19, Jack Flaherty. In the bullpen, we've got Ryan Helsley, his all-star card from this year, a retro finest Tom Hankey card, 99 Dennis Eckersley. I love this card, but he doesn't love me back. 85 Lee Smith, and is this the best version of him we have, or am I missing something? Live series, Henesis Cabrera. Live series, Steven Metz. Live series, Trevor Rosenthal. I'm surprised he doesn't have any other cards in the game. And then our final pitcher on the team is this 99 Bruce Sutter. On the bench, we have 99 Jim Edmonds, who's actually been on the bench for me a lot in 46 at-bats. 391 average, mostly as a pinch hitter. We've got future stars Jordan Walker, 99 Lou Brock, who I love. I need to use him more. He hits for power for me. The postseason Tommy Edmond. I've barely used this card, only one hit with him. And the last player on our bench today is this tops now Colton Wong. And for the starting lineup, batting first and playing second, we have this player of the month, Matt Carpenter, currently parallel three with the card. Batting second and playing first is the 2022 finest Paul Goldschmidt. Batting third and playing center field today is going to be this Stan Musial card. Batting cleanup, my favorite player of all time. One of my favorite cards for the entire year. 700 home run club, Albert Pujols. Batting fifth and playing right, Lars Nudebar. Batting sixth and playing third, we had to get Nolan Arenado on the team. He's been great for me too. Batting seventh and playing shortstop, the wizard, Ozzy Smith. He's actually been solid in his first few games. And last but not least, totally not biased the greatest catcher of all time i totally mean that we got 99 1000 rbi club what other catcher has done that yadi or molina drop a like if you want to see more theme teams where are the away teams we get a hit first i'm so happy because we get to face 99 perfect game randy johnson we already know that this matt carpenter is the best leadoff hitter in the game even lefty lefty versus randy Oh, there's our first hit of the game. We scorched that in the center field. Only able to get a single because it was hit too hard. If you're watching this, Dad, I love you. And at least Stan the Man had a productive ounce. Oh, we did not hit that one too well. But at least we got our first hit out of the way. Let's see how we do on the mound with 99, Adam Wainwright. So my no-hitter and my perfect game are both gone. Albert Pujols got a perfect throw to second. He's smart for going back to first. I feel like this 99 Adam Wainwright might be an underrated card. I actually don't even know if he is a 99, but after one, we're still tied at zero. Oh, we got Newbar leading off. This should be a good inning. Look at Newbar. 67 contact, 66 power, 99 Randy Johnson on the mound. Hall of Fame difficulty. 102 mile an hour pitch. None of it matters. That's a leadoff double for Newt. I thought Arenado went yard. Wow, we were so close. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Ozzy Smith, all he needs is a sacrifice fly and we take the lead. <laughs> I've been playing too much Hogwarts Legacy. And we just struck out on what would have been ball for. I got to take a deep breath. We got Yachty, the master of clutch up to bat but that's not yadi this is what yadi does man he wears you down he wears you down perfect lee placed was the left fielder let's keep pitching well with two down we give up a base runner i think we should be able to have a scoreless inning and his ball four we still have the pitcher spot on deck, which is Randy Johnson. So I think I'm going to just unintentionally, intentionally walk Mike Trout here. And look at that. He swung at the cutter out of the zone. And Randy Johnson is going to lead off in the bottom of inning number three. And we struck him out in the bottom of the third inning. But the very next batter, my shutout's gone. And now my win expectancy is only 28%. Jorge Polanco. But Matt Carpenter says, you're not getting a base hit today. No, no, no. Bad pitch. Uh, wow. Oh, that's when missing your spot hurts. Two and two. And now it's two to zero. 
Besides the two home runs today, it really hasn't been that bad of a day on the mound, but that's been a big issue for us. But I think a bigger issue is that I don't have any runs off of Randy yet. That's got to change. He hits Yachty. I think the move is going to be this future star, Jordan Walker, 120 power versus lefties. His only three hits for me are home runs. And if he does get a home run, this game will be tied. I thought we had it. Why did I have to be early? And then I go and strike out. Wow. Hey, we're still in this ball game. Got to keep pitching. Three and two to Babe Ruth. Two down in the bottom of the fifth inning. I don't think he went around. It's going to be ball four. The good news is Jimmy Fox is coming up. He's over two. And we got a righty on the mound. It should be another scoreless inning for us. And it is another scoreless inning for us. We only got 12 more outs, four more innings to try to at least tie the game. Let's keep staying around the baseball. Let's keep staying around the baseball, baby. Paul Goldschmidt. Only one more of those and we've tied the game. I thought Stan just tied the game and he did. Oh, wow. We got some ice in our veins. Best swing you have ever seen. I thought Albert just gave us three in a row to give us the lead. Wow. That's a perfect, perfect. Y'all heard that. That perfect swing went foul. But I feel like it maybe makes up for the home run we just saw. We tied the game. I'm happy with it. Let's see how we do on the mound for the rest of this game. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, there it is. Oh, man. My opponent has been chasing pitches out of the zone. And I'm still hanging pitches. It's 125 power, so I think um, we just need to have a card with more power next time. He just took out Randy Johnson, so I think if I don't allow any more runs, I'm probably going to win this game. <laughs> we just walked Brian Reynolds. I'm going to bring in whoever lefty we have in the bullpen and try to get a double play. Please don't be down. It's down. Ball four. Bases are going to be loaded. We have George Brett coming up. Facing the 72 overall pitcher. Lefty, lefty. Let's get a double play to send us to the eighth. Double play. It's not a double play. Stan Musial. It would have been a perfect throw home if we had the option. There was no option for some reason. And uh, we're now down six to two. I'm pretty sure this is the third or fourth full count of the inning. And it's going to be another walk, setting up another double play. Do we actually get one? All right, we just need one more out, and we're only down by four. After seven, we're down by four. Randy Johnson's out of this game. If I'm going to hit, it's going to be now, I guess. Please stay fair for me. Mm, we need good timing, man. I'll take it. That's going to be a single. He's out? You know what? We allowed six runs, but we didn't pitch that badly today. Got to get good timing, Albert. You're 0 for 3 today. Come on, buddy. There we go. Some good timing. Tommy Edmond. Gotta get good timing. We ended up losing with this team, but I hope y'all won by enjoying the video. Drop a like if you did and you want to see some more themed teams. You might enjoy one of these on screen right here. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video because we daily upload every day. Peace out.